So before we start this video, I just want to say Happy New Year to all my viewers. I hope you had a great New Year. Um, and obviously, I would love to know, obviously, on New Year's Eve, what you did to celebrate the brand new year. Because we're now in 2024, which means we can now say that Hyperia at Fort Park will be officially opening this year. And this ride is going to be absolutely insane, reaching, literally going to become the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster. And potentially it's going to be the start of, like, a whole new wave of large scale attractions in the UK, hopefully. Because obviously when this thing opens, it's going to draw a lot of crowds to Fort Park. It's going to encourage other parks to build bigger and better new types of attractions. Which obviously I discussed in my previous video about Hyperia. But in today's video, I'm going to be discussing a different aspect of the ride that's been rumoured for a couple of months now, actually. Now, the main rumour going around is that obviously Hyperia is related to when Hyperia's name was announced. Because um, obviously in the announcement video, we obviously showcased the POV of the attraction. Um, and, and at the very end, and our, during the POV, it played the brand new soundtrack for the ride, which has confirmed is going to be made by Imascore. And obviously the soundtrack is gorgeous, just listen to it. And obviously it's a beautiful soundtrack um, made by the world famous um, company Imascore, who's composed many different theme park soundtracks around the world. Um, and obviously, if you've seen the actual announcement video, the music itself um, s synchronizes perfectly with the actual ride POV. Um, now, obviously, that's been that's just begged the question ever since the name was this video was first released. Will the ride have onboard audio, and will it be playing this soundtrack? Now, obviously, the ride's going to introduce a lot of amazing new things to the UK on a roller coaster that we've never seen before in this country. Um, obviously really cool new elements um, and obviously even though the ride it's I'm, I'm, we're not even entirely sure there's still a lot of things about the ride we're not entirely sure about um, obviously we're not sure like what the train design is like but that will probably be revealed soon enough when, probably when the track is complete but we're not even sure what entirely what the theme is now obviously it's been sort of hinted at in the promotional stuff that it could be like a sort of I don't know goddess like celestial style theme that's very much been hinted at in like when they posted the construction update saying Hyperia our goddess is taking flight or things like that but obviously it's quite going to be quite a loose theme and it might even be like icon where it's maybe not as much heavily themed but more stylized so even though it won't be like heavily themed it'll still be presented really nicely um obviously but that's going to be really cool um but obviously the other rumor like i said with the fact that the music in the Announcement video synchronizes perfectly with the ride POV. Would that mean that on the rides they will have onboard speakers playing this music as you're going along the ride? That's going to be absolutely amazing if it does. Um, it might not be this exact soundtrack. It might they might make a diff, slightly different version. I'm not entirely sure. If they go with this, the one that they used in this promotional video, that that would be absolutely insane. Um, obviously, if you want to know what the actual ride experience is like. With, with the onboard audio, we'll just watch the announcement video because, like I said, it synchronizes pretty much perfectly. The only part it doesn't show is the pre lift till section with that little out of bank turn, but obviously, the, that's only the first bit that's missed out. The rest is what the rest of the ride that obviously is a really like, a exciting part of the ride. Um, but either way, it's going to be absolutely insane when this ride opens. There's been quite a few rumors going about, I believe. There was also a rumor that it could also have. Um, backwards facing seats. I'm not sure if Mac rides can do that, but then again, if they can do spinning cars on the back of their multi launch coasters, they need to do backwards facing seats. They could do like a Brave It Backwards thing, like they did with the Swarm, which was obviously their previous roller coaster that opened back in 2012. Um, obviously, we know that even in a more recent example, Mandrel Mayhem has backwards facing seats at Chessington, and you know, even though that's a BM wing coaster. Um, the fact that it had backwards facing seats and it didn't actually charge you for it either, you could just get in the queue line and just, if you wanted to go in the backwards seats, you could just go there and sit in there like a normal queue. And that's proven to be really successful for them. So, could Merlin um, take that same element and put it on the trains for Hyperia? Now, I'm not even sure if they will because in the Club 236 announcement video that they released last year, it showed that obviously the, it was when it was listing different tier options for 
basically if you don't know what Club 236 is, it's essentially just like a competition you could enter um, and if you won it you could you could get tickets to go on the first public trade for Hyperia when it opens this year. It was announced I think just before the season started last season and there was four tiers I believe and when it was listing these tiers it showed a like a image of the what the ride vehicle would look like and it's gonna have five cars seating four people per car two across in two rows for a total of I think 20 riders per train so it's going to be a pretty decent capacity ride, but obviously in the back car it was facing forward. Now, we don't know if that's going to be exactly like that in real life, but who knows. Um, as for onboard audio, obviously you can't really see that on the train, because obviously the speakers are in physically built into the ride vehicle. So, if, But if we do get onboard audio, that's going to be absolutely mental. Um, obviously Hyperia, we know, represents a whole new era for Fort Park where they're focusing on more positive vibes and positive energy this because this whole ride has gone in a brand new direction with rather being focused on like a dark or intimidating theme like a lot of recent roller coasters in the UK this has gone from more heavenly like sort of positive light theme which is very new and refreshing for a British theme park and we'll probably see more of these in the future um, obviously that's just bringing about the change of four part with their brand new direction that with the also the inclusion of Big Easy Boulevard which is their brand new land replacing Angry Birds Land which is opening in the same year which is sort of a Louisiana sort of Mardi Gras themed land Fort Park is heading off in a really exciting direction and it's gonna be absolutely amazing so I want to thank you all very much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it then please make sure to like and subscribe and come out where we like to see the next video goodbye